What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look this morning over at Coin Market Cap. We'll take a drop in over at Casper. Check out the charts as there was some more volatility coming into the Casper CSPR USDT market yesterday. Did did make some new lows for the day, but didn't undercut so far the most recent low. So here we are on Coin CoinMarketCap.com. Today's just taking a quick glance here, guys. So fear and greed at 57 today's cryptocurrency prices by market cap. We have Pepe and Shiba on trending. Pepe has been on basically number one in trending for weeks. I don't know how many weeks, but it's been number one on the trending there. So we have Bitcoin at number one, XRP down there at number six. Ethereum, Tether, BNB, USD coin, Cardano, Doge, number eight. Looks like Litecoin sitting there at number 10. XRP trading at 47.4. Um, let's see here. Basically, not too much going on. The last seven days, it's down 2.6, but otherwise, basically a flat market. So this is coin market cap. Got Dot com. Let's go take a look over at the Casper cryptocurrency chart, guys. Welcome to the channel. It's crazy how Pepe is still sitting at number one. I think some of the um, some of the the hype on that coin is starting to slow down. Starting to, I can kind of see that over by by the interaction on YouTube. So. Guys, CSPR, USDT, Casper slash Tether daily chart. Put out a video yesterday talking about a couple different scenarios. Appreciate those viewers out there who took some time out of their day to check that video out. So we actually put in a new low yesterday for Casper. Let's see here. We undercut the low from the 11th. Looks like we 366'd that one, and today 363, so slightly slightly undercut that low, but we are back above 370. We are back above 365 as well as 363, which actually was the low, and if you look over on the right-hand side, it's one of my lines here. I have one two three four lines three six one six three six five six seven zero so far the low on the 10th is holding but like i said in yesterday's video we'll actually jump over to bitcoin chart as well i don't think we're just going to do a move like this out of here where the price just starts to rocket out of here Unless Bitcoin ends up breaking out huge and being up a few percent, you know, five, ten percent or something like that. I think there's more of a chance, and we spoke about this in yesterday's video, that after a pretty large sell-off here in Casper, you can see in previous, we'll get those initial moves, but overall this market is going to go sideways for a while before potentially getting up to that next level. And like I said, we've seen that in the past with Casper. So unless Bitcoin does something crazy, I think there is more of a chance that we spend the next basically two months or so, basically the rest of summer, kind of chopping around probably within this range here before maybe getting a stair stepping you know higher and that range could be anywhere between four three five let me get the right tool here basically the way i would see it would be somewhere between four three five four one five and then where we're basically at now are lows so that is what I would expect here for Casper. Right now, the price is flat. Looks like it's about to sell off. 
if Bitcoin can't get its act together, which it actually looks like it's it's starting to, if it can't, then and it starts to drop big time, then there's a chance that Casper breaks breaks these lows here, and we go back to test three thirty four, which is where we had one, two, three, four, five, six tests of three thirty four back in January, February, and March of this year. Basically the whole lower end of this base here at that 334 level. So that is the bearish scenario for Bitcoin. Let's take a look real quick over at the Bitcoin chart. Guys, I wanna thank all of the subscribers, all of the viewers, if you have any ideas on different cryptos or different stocks or something else in finance related that you would like to see, drop that down in the comment. And I um, I do read all the comments, so I will consider that. So we're starting to get a move higher here in Bitcoin. We're back above. So we have three levels we have and this is 30,000 so we have 30,000 141 186 and 234 currently above all three of those so those have held so far so far as support we're currently trading at 30,708 looks like we're up 81 81 dollars which is better than being down 81 dollars but it's not that much our next area of resistance on the chart for bitcoin is 31 573 that's right here so we're still looking for a breakout above that we found resistance there which took place on the 8th of july the 8th of july the 6th of july if we can get above that my target is still up there at 34 293 34200 and 93 on a percentage basis that puts the price up basically another 11 percent so you can imagine if that took place and bitcoin ends up being up you know 5 to 10 15 percent there's a good chance casper is not going to be heading south it's going to be heading higher so far bitcoin is holding here which indicates to me that more than likely, it's just a pause in a next leg to the upside, which if you are long Casper, then you know that sh you should be happy about that because it should carry the weight and allow the price to move higher. So far, we're not making new lows. I mean, we did from yesterday, but what I'm saying is so far, we, we have a low in here and it's holding on the 10th. So keep your eye. This is what I would do anyways. Keep my eye on that 10th low, and that is 361. That's at right, actually right at our lower target with that in blue there, 361. It would be nice to see the lows hold. If the lows don't hold, then that's where things start to get a little dicey, and this thing is still unstable. So we got a we got a little indic we a little warning today when we undercut yesterday's low but so far that 361 is our low and 363 is today's low so not too far off but still it still is a still is above the 10th low so that's what i would keep my eye on because if that low can't hold and it, it could be a straight shot down here to 334 so looking to buy more casper and this low can't hold at 361 then there's a chance that we're going to get a pretty good drop here you know and that would put the price down another you could call it nine nine to ten percent lower if that low on the eighth on the eighth or the sixth get my days confused here on the tenth doesn't hold so so far that's our footing if it starts to fail we could get a significant drop here in price down to the 334 putting the price down you know nine to ten percent and you can see the price found many uh many times it found support over here back in february and march 
So that's kind of what's going on here with Casper. They say, you know, don't try to catch a falling knife. And so far, this thing, as you can tell, you know, hindsight 2020, it's tough to catch the bottom here. But we are in an area of previous support, which is this whole basing structure here, although very volatile. But, you know, these candle wicks are nice to see when you have the big wick down below the market and the body up higher. You know, it's nice that support buyers are coming in. But just keep keep both scenarios in mind that, you know, if these lows don't hold, there could be a significant drop down to that 334. would we'll put the price basically down 9%. So that's an option. And then also, you know, there's a good chance we don't just V bottom from here unless Bitcoin is up, you know, 10% out of nowhere. More than likely, we're going to be range bound here probably for the rest of the summer. But you got to keep your eye on kind of everything. You got to keep your eye on Bitcoin. You got to keep your eye on these price levels, etc. If you're just a buy and hold and you're dollar cost averaging, for you know whatever your reason is down the road years months who knows um you might not care as much about the day by day price swings but if you're trying to get in get out make a trade then you're probably a little bit more focused in here on price levels support and resistance patterns bitcoin news etc all right guys that's my thoughts here on Casper. This thing is 40 some percent off the highs, if I'm correct. If I remember, 42% off the highs. I mean, that's a 42% discount from May to looks like we're basically July 12th today is. So that's pretty interesting if you're looking to get more. A 42% sale here for the CSPR USDT pair on July 12th. Guys, all links always down in the video description. Check those out. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.